Hey guys, how you doing? Hope you're doing okay. Going to read through the full details. There's a link in the description. Going to give you a extreme trigger warning. This is in regards to a very grim topic. Uh, a Michigan man, this scumbag here, Jonathan Christopher Jones, has been sentenced to life in prison uh, for murdering a four-year-old girl, his girlfriend's daughter, after beating her. Um, after beating her very, very severely, which led to internal bleeding, which led to her death. Um, so full, full extreme trigger warning. Uh, about midway through, uh, going through the article, it is going to get into some details in regards to the injuries that uh, the four-year-old girl has suffered. So there's a quick overview for you but we'll now go into things with more detail a 20 year old sorry a 28 year old michigan man this scumbag jonathan christopher jones is poised to spend the rest of his life behind bars after being convicted of beating his girlfriend's four-year-old daughter to death in 2018 a macomb county circuit court jury on friday returned a guilty verdict against this scumbag Jonathan Christopher Jones on one count of first-degree felony murder and one count of first-degree child abuse. It says here for the 2017 death of young Ivy Yerkes. So the four-year-old girl was named Ivy Yerkes. Of course, prayers to her. Um, I'm not 100% sure if this death happened in 2017 or 2018. I'm not 100% sure. The verdict came after the jury deliberated for two and a half days following a nine-day trial. Under Michigan state law for persons convicted of first-degree murder, Jones is slated to receive a mandatory sentence of life imprisonment, sorry, life in prison without the possibility of parole. That hearing is currently scheduled for the morning of April the 13th. So I'm just going to applaud this Michigan state law, really. I, I support that. Um, for a person convicted of first-degree murder, yeah, have ma a mandatory sentence of life in prison without the possibility of parole. Yeah, that, that seems like a good idea to me. I'd prefer the death penalty. I'd prefer the death penalty done in a... Um, low cost economical way two to the back of the head chuck him in a ditch somewhere um, That that's my preference but uh, failing that mandatory sentence of life in prison without the possibility of parole makes a lot of sense to me Jones this scumbag began crying immediately after the guilty verdicts were announced his sobs could be heard even after sheriff deputies led him to a cell behind the courtroom assistant prosecutor jean cloud praised the jury's decisions after friday's proceedings came to a close here's a quote from the assistant prosecutor we are extremely pleased that the jury gave this child justice although it took four and a half years justice did prevail jones attorney uh said that he and co the co-counsel were shocked by the jury's verdict here's a quote from the attorney of the scumbag while we respect the jury system we believe they came to a verdict that was not supported by the evidence um the scumbag concerned denies all incidents of abuse against ivy calling the little girl the love of his life okay so the scumbag is according to himself according to his lawyers he's perfectly innocent the uh, four-year-old girl was the love of his life well jonathan the prosecutors have got something to say about that so i'm now going to read through some of the details in regards to how the four-year-old girl ivy sustained the injuries that caused her death so the extreme trigger warning comes into play at this point Prosecutors reportedly allege that Jones, on May the 3rd, 2017, punched Ivy in the stomach while in the laundry room of their home located in the 1200 block of Galloway Street. 
The scumbag then drove his girlfriend, the mother, Amanda Yerkes, to work. And she worked at the Outback Steakhouse in Roseville. Um, so prosecutors say that the scumbag punched the four-year-old in the stomach and then drove his girlfriend to work. Prosecutors said that Ivy, the four-year-old girl, told her mother that the scumbag had hit her in the stomach. And the girl's mother reportedly yelled at the scumbag during the drive to the restaurant. Angered that uh, Ivy, the, the four-year-old girl, allegedly told her mother about the abuse, uh, Jones went home, beat the child in retaliation, and inflicted the injuries that led to the girl's death. Approximately 15 minutes after dropping Amanda off to work, Jones, the scumbag, reportedly returned to the restaurant, carrying an unresponsive Ivy in his arms. A certified CPR instructor who was dining at the restaurant when Jones brought the child in reportedly testified that Ivy's lips were blue and that her breathing was cackling. Ivy, the four-year-old, was reportedly transported to the hospital via ambulance, arriving at the facility with a bloated stomach. Despite doctors' best efforts, the girl succumbed to her, to her injuries and was pronounced dead on May the 4th. The following day. So, <clears throat> according to the, the prosecutors here, who frankly I believe and uh, the jurors believed, um, the scumbag in question punched Ivy, the four-year-old, in the stomach, uh, then took the mother to work, uh, and uh, the uh, Ivy had told the mother that the scumbag had punched her in the stomach, so the mother was very angry towards the scumbag obviously naturally so what does the scumbag do <clears throat> he goes home and beats you know literally the four-year-old to death um you know within 15 minutes he takes ivy back to the restaurant to the restaurant to the mother because she's not breathing You know, the Macomb, Macomb County Medical Examiner's Office conducted an autopsy and determined that Ivy's death was a homicide caused by blunt force abdominal trauma that severed her mesenteric vein and ca caused severe internal bleeding. According to testimony from Ivy's mother, the scumbag reportedly brought Ivy to the restaurant less than an hour after the little girl told her he hit me in the stomach. Ivy's brother, who was seven years old at the time of the girl's death, also reportedly testified that Jones gave his sister a whooping just before she went unconscious. The defence argued the defence spewed a whole load of horseshit that Ivy sustained the fatal stomach injury from a fall several days before she began presenting symptoms. A former county medical examiner who did not examine Ivy's body testified for the defence, reportedly saying that he believed Ivy had a slow bleed in her stomach, possibly from falling on a tree stump the previous week, that may have been aggravated on the day she fell unconscious. However, government authorities reportedly responded by asserting that Ivy's injuries were consistent with a systematic pattern of abuse. The scumbag's attorneys say that they plan to appeal the verdict. They believe there's a chance for a reversal. Um, well, I don't. I think the scumbag is guilty. The jurors think the scumbag is guilty. The judge praised the jurors. The girl told the mother that he had punched her. The boy, the brother, the girl's older brother, said that she witnessed that uh, he witnessed the scumbag beating the girl on the day. 
there's too much evidence. Your lawyers are just trying to get more money or whatever it is they're doing. There is no need for an appeal. You have been caught, banged to rights. So I'm glad that you get to spend the rest of your life behind bars with no opportunity for parole. I applaud Michigan for having those laws. And I hope that every now and then you get released into general population. And I hope that the other inmates uh, within Michigan have the opportunity to have a little word with you in regards to your case. And I hope that they have the opportunity to express their feelings on the matter.